dum de dum de dum Hey, Scruffy. Check out this paint job. It looks like someone threw up on it. Yeah, kid. This car's so ugly, it would scare even the bravest stormtrooper. Hey, what are you doing to my car? Oops. Gotta bounce. Catch us if you can, Hornhead. I'll show you who's Hornhead. Get back here. Really? Fire hydrant now. What's next? You've got to admit, that car is hideous. <laughs> it was like it was designed by a blind panther. That car is a masterpiece, and you two delinquents are going to pay for what you've done. Ooh, we're so scared of the big bad Darth Maul. Yeah, I heard you're not even the scariest villain on the island anymore. Wait until I call your father. Believe this, your kids just destroyed my car. I demand an apology. I'm so sorry, Mr. Mole. I didn't know they would do something like that. I'll make sure they learn their lesson. I promise. Actually, I have a better idea. Let me babysit them for a day and teach them some valuable lessons about respecting other people's property. Are you sure about that? They can be a handful. Trust me, after I'm done with them, they'll never want to mess with someone's car again. Well, if you insist, I'll make sure they're ready when you come by to babysit. I'll see you soon, then. Boys, I have some exciting news. I'm going on a date tonight, and guess who your new babysitter is going to be? Is it our cool Aunt Scratchy? Or maybe our fun Uncle Whiskers? <laughs> nope, it's none other than Darth Maul. D-D Darth Maul? The same guy whose car we just wrecked? Dad, are you sure that's a good idea? He must be really mad at us. Well, he did say that he wanted to teach you boys a lesson about respecting other people's property. And besides, I'm sure he's a great babysitter. What could possibly go wrong? Hello, boys. I'm your babysitter for the night. Let's start with an apology for what you did to my car, shall we? Oh, we're so sorry. We didn't know it was your car. We thought it was just some random villain's car. Yeah, if we knew it was yours, we would have smashed it even more. Very funny, boys. Now, let's move on to our first lesson. Sharing. Follow me to the playground. I brought this toy for you to play with. Now, let's see you take turns and share. Hey, it's my turn. No way, I had it first. No, no, no. You're supposed to take turns and share. That's the whole point of this lesson. Oh, sharing? I thought you said battling over the toy until one of us is victorious. Yeah, isn't that how you villains do it? No, that's not the point. You're supposed to learn to be better than me. All right, boys. Now that we've had our fun, let's focus on our second lesson. Manners. I've set up this lovely dinner table, and I'm going to teach you proper table etiquette. First, we have the forks, knives, and spoons. Remember, always use the correct utensil for each dish. Now, when you're eating, remember to chew with your mouth closed, and don't talk with your mouth full. What if we're discussing evil plans to conquer the galaxy? Yeah, I mean, those can't wait, right? Uh, let's just try eating without making a mess, shall we? What the? Uh, stop it! This is not what I meant by table manners. Mm. 
what are those two up to now? Are you kidding me? This is not how you treat other people's property. But we thought it could use a little artistic touch. <laughs> yeah, don't you think it looks better now? Absolutely not. Your actions have consequences, and you need to learn that. It's like trying to teach a pair of hyperactive wampas. Hey, at least wampas are cute and fluffy. Yeah, like you, Darth Baldy Maul. <sighs> Fine, let's try something else. But I'm warning you, if you don't start behaving, I'll be forced to take drastic measures. Do you know what? I'm not cleaning this mess up after you two. It's time for you two to learn about responsibility. You made a mess during the food fight, and now you need to clean it up. Ah, oh, come on. Can't we just use the force to clean it up? Yeah, isn't that what the Jedi do? Oh wait, you're not a Jedi. Just get to work, and no more joking around. On guard, Scruffy. <laughs> you're no match for my mighty broom, kid. This is not what I meant. You're supposed to be cleaning, not making an even bigger mess. You should join us. We could use a Sith Lord in our epic battle. Yeah, come on. Show us some of those fancy lightsaber moves. Fine, but after this, you're both cleaning up the mess, and I mean it. All right, let's get some fresh air. Maybe it'll help you two focus on the lessons I'm trying to teach. What are you two doing now? You're supposed to be learning about responsibility, not stealing. We just wanted to take them for a spin. It's not like we were going to keep them. Yeah, come on, we're just having a little fun. Stealing is not fun. It's illegal and wrong. You too need to learn about the consequences of your actions and the importance of honesty. You're no fun. We never get to do anything exciting. Yeah, why don't you just go back to chasing Jedi or something? I am not here to entertain you. I'm here to teach you right from wrong. Now, let's return those motorbikes. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss chasing Jedi. This babysitting gig is getting exhausting. <laughs> Meowsels, I need to talk to you about your boys. I've tried everything to teach them responsibility, but they just don't seem to get it. I'm sorry, Darth. They can be a handful. But this is how kids are. What happened this time? They were caught trying to steal motorbikes. I've been trying to teach them right from wrong, but they just don't seem to care. Oh, all right, I understand. These boys always try to give adults a hard time. Let me try and handle it from here. Boys, Mo's been trying to teach you important life lessons. And you've been nothing but trouble. It's time for you two to grow up and apologize to him. But, Dad, we don't want to say sorry. It's too much fun messing with him. Fine. Maul, we're sorry for causing so much trouble. Yeah, we didn't mean to make things so difficult for you. Well, we did, but... Thank you. I hope you both learned something today. Yes, indeed, today was a lesson for all of us. You know, despite all the trouble today, I've actually enjoyed spending time with you two. Really? We had fun too, even if we did get in trouble. <laughs> Well, I guess we all learned something today. How about we celebrate with some ice cream? Yes! Yeah! Hey, Maul. How many...
many candies do you think you can fit in your mouth at once? I don't know, but I bet I can fit more than you. Oh, I've got to see this. You know, you're actually a lot of fun when you're not chasing us around. <laughs> Lol, you've got six candies in your mouth. Kids, you're at five. <laughs> well, you two aren't so bad when you're not causing trouble either. So, does this mean we're friends now? I suppose it does. Just promise me this one thing. No more destroying my car, or anyone else's property. Alright? Deal! Deal! <laughs> <laughs>